Charles. Hey, Cam, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Doing well. Um, when it comes to getting that offense going yesterday, how much of a factor was the lack of practice time the last couple of weeks, would you say? Uh, I mean, I think it showed. I think it, it was evident. But, yeah, through it all, man, we just – we're professionals. And, you know, we had a lot of – mental work and, and Zoom calls this past week. And, you know, that's what it really comes down to. You know, nobody really cares. I know there's a lot of people listening to this and even on the fan base who, care, you know, they just want results. And, and, and it's our job to give it to them. So, you know, when talking about, you know, the whole big picture, I think we will be fine. And, um, you know, but, yeah, through it all, we just have to do better when given an opportunity. Has this been the strangest two weeks in, in your career? Oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. I mean, you know, here I am. I'm, you know, I get prepared for something, and then find out the night uh, or the day before that I, you know, I'm not going to go. Then I was thinking as as optimistic as could be. I was like, man, it was a false positive. And then it ended up being, you know, true. Then you go through it, and and games get rescheduled, and, you know, you're just, you know, sit to wonder. You can't work out. You can't do anything. And obviously, me being who I am, it's not like you could just take this time to, you know, go vacation somewhere, you know. So, you know, through it all, man, I, 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 I it, it has been weird. It has been, you know, um, an adjustment to your routine. But yet, you know, you, you know, people don't, people don't pay attention to all that stuff. You know, they just want production, and so do I. Did you at least get to binge anything good while you were quarantining? Anything good on Netflix or anything? Uh, that I did do. Um, oh. You know, I started a, a series, Vikings. You know, my brother been raving about that. Oh. You know, I started that. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, Yellowstone. Oh, great. Um, great show, Yellowstone. Yeah. Get on great. P Valley, man. I heard about P Valley. I heard about P Valley. Yeah, or yeah, Power so Book I may too. start that. <laughs> yeah, Power Buck Two. Yeah, po Power Book Two, the the sequel to oh, the Power Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Power. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got my reasons about Power, man. <laughs> oh no, it just started getting weird to me after the third or fourth season. But uh, I loved it. I loved it, and uh, I just can't see uh, his son being this 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 gangster in in itself. But you know, no harm done. I I, um, I respect the show. Um, I don't know if you've had a chance to look at film yet, but um, it, it seemed like yesterday maybe you were holding the ball uh, in the pocket longer than than normal. Um, you, you, what was what was going on there, if anything? Well, um, you know, it's just production. You just gotta. I just have to be better, and I I cannot stress that enough here moving forward. I. I um, you know, the, like like I mentioned earlier, there was a lack thereof of, of practice being evident, and uh, you know, and, you know, timing was off, and you know, the anticipation was off. I think that was the biggest <clears throat> uh, discrepancy in not having practice. You know, you know, usually in most times you could just throw it way uh, way before the receiver is is looking for it and and be on the money with it but you know not having practice for as long as i have had practice is is, is just show yesterday but yeah through it all i'm all about moving forward we will be moving forward from this point on and uh you know i just can't wait with regard to the weapons you have you said on this show a couple weeks ago that the answer was in the locker room do you still feel that way this morning cam yes sir yes sir i mean <laughs> The grass is not always green on the other side, you know. A wise man once told me that. Uh, it just it just comes down to, you know, us producing better and us playing better and us, you know, playing situational football better. And um, you know, a lot of times, you know, going back and mentally looking back at the game, I, you know, I can that was just a sloppy um, display of football. You know, for the first couple of series, it, it was just. You know, different people taking turns making mistakes, and that cannot happen. I think offensive football is the ultimate team sport, you know, where even one person not doing their job, it shows. And I think it showed yesterday. Cam, the quarterback position is always under a microscope, but it seems like you personally are even under a greater microscope. What are some of the challenges uh, or motivations that come with that? 
Well, you know, here for me, I, I just I just try to accept any challenges that's that's given to me, and you know, obviously, you know, with our record being what it is, it's it's, it's not. Uh, mind blowing and nothing that I saw it being, you know, if I could foreshadow to it. Um, but yeah, through it all, you know, nobody cares. I don't care either. You know, it's just about, you know, controlling what you can control and that's things here moving forward. And uh, that's what I will do. Were you surprised w- with the attention that was paid to where you may have been to to get the virus, where, with the dinner that you guys had, did that attention surprise you, or are you used to that? I don't want to say it would surprise me, but, you know, all my attention here moving forward is just on the San Francisco. You know, make the proper adjustments on, on, on the performances yesterday and, and just moving forward. You know, me and... and, and Stefan dwelling on things that that that's in the past. It's in this, at this particular point, it's irrelevant. And to be honest with you, you know, there's no need for me to keep harping on something that you know, I've I've, I've passed that phase. Hopefully, this this team has passed that phase, and you know, our hearts, minds, and energy should be focused on how we can become you know three and three next Sunday, rather than worried about you know something that we already you know overcame. Um. We discussed this with uh, Boomer a little bit, Boomer Esiason, earlier. When it comes to that throw to Nikhil Harry, was that a, a bad route or was that a bad throw on your part? I'll say more so of a bad throw, but it goes back to the anticipation. I knew I was going to get hit. I knew, you know, what route he was running. But that's just a, a, a thing that, you know, I didn't see it all week in practice. And knowing what he had, but, you know, him – being faced with different circumstances of the coverage and the leverage of the defender, you know, it's just, I have to be better. I want to make that perfectly clear. You know, I have to play better football for the New England Patriots and I will. I I think any competitor uh, in this position, you know, I I, I heard a person say once, you know, I don't point fingers, you know, I point thumbs. And with that being said, I take full responsibility of where we are as offense and, and, and knowing here moving forward that I will, it starts with number one and I will be better. Not, not, and that doesn't mean I'm going to do more and, and, and press the issue. It's just, you know, doing the small better. And I think I can do a better job of that. When you say that, you know, you say that, you know, y'all have to do better as a team, but you have to do better as a quarterback. What are some of the areas maybe – that you feel like you have to do better at to obviously put this team in a position to win football games and help them win football games? Well, it's just, it just comes down to, you know, situation of football. Um, you know, there are times yesterday where the ball could have been a little, a little more accurate. It, it, there's times where controlling, you know, audibles, there's times where just playing a little faster, you know, you know, not being more so hesitant to, to your reads. I went, I may have went to the right place, but it, you know, it, you know, it happened uh, a, a millisecond too late. And in this game of football, it's not necessarily about who's better. It, 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 it could be more or less about who reacts faster. And that's what it came down to. You better be careful because we may have a quarterback controversy on our hands, not with not with Stidham or Hoyer, but with Edelman. <laughs> <laughs> Man, listen, I, I, I've always said I am a football player who just so happens to play quarterback. And, you know, whatever this team asks of me, you know, it's, it's, it's up to me to execute it, you know. No bickering, no complaining, you know, from blocking to making the proper <clears throat> making the proper adjustments in the run game to catching, you know, which was on display yesterday, to anything else. You know, I my job is to be the best football player I possibly could be and to be accessible to this team at all accounts. Ken, were you surprised that Bill didn't challenge James White being ruled short of the first down on the fourth? Because it looked like he had it in the replay. It's not my job to ever question coaching, and it will ever, never be my job to question uh, Coach Belichick. So I'll just leave it at that. There, I mean, I know one thing about being here: there's nothing that does not go un, unaccounted for. And he had multiple sources, you know, probably advising him to do a, a, a 
to to not throw it accordingly and and um, you know I stick with it. When you think about this offense moving forward, and I think it's about the identity and, and kind of trying to build off of games, uh, you talk about San Francisco. What are what are some of the things that you need to look at offensively moving forward as a group as far as what we can do in the running game, passing game? I think just some of those things as far as working with Josh McDaniels that will put you in a good position come this uh, next Sunday against the 49ers. Going back to what I said earlier, you know, offensive office of football is the ultimate team sport. So, you know, just the lackluster performance of not having your head in the right position on a block, you know, can be the difference in a gain of two or a gain of 12. So for us, we just have to, you know, control our narrative and, and, and we need 11 guys focusing on one one assignment, not one guy trying to focus on 11 assignments. And I think if we had that type of mentality – I think we'll be good. There's no need to press the panic button. There's no need to, you know, start re reinventing the wheel. We have the answers, and I said again, we have the answers in that locker room, and we get guys back hopefully, and, and, and some guys, you know, need to mend and heal up. But yet through it all, it's our job, you know, as players to produce. And I, I know looking at, you know, eyeballs in that locker room and, and, and the competitors of the people who just seizes the moment and, 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 and make the most of each and every opportunity, we will get that, that job done. I know how important this season is to you. And so I wanted to ask you mentally to just kind of understand how you, how you do things. Um, when you got that, that positive test, was it, you know, cause you had some momentum going team, you know, teams playing, you know, well in a couple Big games right up to the end. Did you did you ask yourself like you know oh I I can't believe this is going on right now or are you a guy who just o- overcomes w- whatever barrier is put in front of you? Man, I, my life here in the last two years have have in essence been like that, and you know my faith in in, in you know the God I serve never wavers. You know, I, I, it's not my job to question why, you know, and, and, and man, why I got to deal with this or why I got to do this. Or, man, it was just, you know, getting to the point where I could feel, you know, it's it's my job to say yes, sir, and, and yes, Lord, and, and, and get it done. Um, you know, yeah, there, there's there been a lot of unfortunate events that, that, that has transpired for me, you know, and this is not the only one. But yet, you know, I will not, I will not complain. I will look at you know, dead in this eyeball and not blink. And, uh, you know, I think that's what any person will want to do. And, and I'm, you know, the things that I've been faced with is it's on the world's display. And, you know, I have to, I have to accept the challenge and be better from it. Cam, what was the process like to get back on the field following your positive COVID test? And how difficult was it for you to watch that Chiefs game and how close it was at home? And did you ever lobby coach hard to maybe, you know, is there any way I could play in that game? Of course. Of course. But, you know, I don't think it was coach's decision. I think it was more or less the doctors. And I think, you know, this, this whole pandemic has threw a wrench in a lot, of, a lot of organizations. And, you know, for us being one of them, you know, it's an ongoing, you know, situation that, you know, we, don't, we do not have any, any of the slightest idea of where it's coming from, who has it, who contracts it, where you contract it from, how you were to, you know, to, to do certain things, because I, I, I do believe we have, you know, did the proper, um, per, had the proper precautions with, with, with everything that, that has taken place. And you still cannot be, you know, understand where, where, where it's stemming from. Uh, but yet, you know, watching games here in my living room or, you know, watching games and, and, and saying to yourself, man, if I was there, you know, I would have done this or I would have did that. But yet, you know, everybody's coached the same way. You know, Coach Josh and Jed and, and, and you know, Coach Bill, you know, those guys do a great job in preparing us for for the moment. So, you know, needless to say who is in the game and needless to say if I'm in the game or not, you know, I do know that we all have to just play better. And, and uh, you know, knowing the guys in that locker room, as I will say again, you know, we will be better. So you still, and I'm assuming this is true for most who get it, you still have no idea where you got it from. 
Oh, correct. Correct. I mean, I think the biggest scare here for, for everybody was, you know, just my, I guess, daily routine of, of how many hours I, I put in the facility. And if I contracted it, you know, there, if anybody who would have a red flag, I think it would have been me to just say, oh, my God, you know, here's the person who was here for as long as he is, we, you know, who did he, who was he around? Who did he touch? You know, and things like that. And I was more concerned about it because I didn't want to put nobody else on the team in jeopardy for this. You know, the fact that Steph, you know, contracted it was, was my worst nightmare, you know, being that, you know, I would never want to sabotage anything, you know, to the slightest degree, because I know what we have the capability of becoming. And, and yet through it all, you know, we, we, um, we see it. Uh, we saw, I mean, I'm sorry, we saw it and, 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 and uh, got better understanding of it. One of the things that you, you were talking about a little bit is just trying to make sure guys, you know, understand the big picture, not, you know, taking this game and this loss and, and kind of getting your heads down. As a leader of this team, how important is it for you to make sure that you're always, you know, kind of you're, you're upbeat? I mean, that's kind of who you are. But just to make sure that these younger guys, because there's a lot of younger guys that have to contribute for you guys to be successful, but they see, you know, yourself and Julian, the other leaders and veterans on this team, know that, hey, we put that game behind us and we move on. I think the main thing that we all have to be better with, and I think it showed yesterday with us not having it, was just playing with a sense of urgency. You know, a lot of times as athletes, we always have the cliche kind of theory and mindset, oh, we'll get them next time. Oh, we'll, you know, we'll do better next time. Well, you know, in this league, man, next there may not be no next time. You know, there may not be no next drive. There may not be no you know, next opportunity. So, you know, for the time being, we have to be our best when our best is needed. And it may be the first drive. It may be the second drive. It may be the first time we're in the red zone. It may be the last time we're in the red zone. So, you know, with that type of mindset here moving forward, I think, you know, we all know what we have to do and we have to do what we are supposed to do in order for us to get the results that we're looking for. Quarterback Question of the Week is brought to you by Northeast Men's Health with offices in Dedham near Legacy Place and in Salem, New Hampshire, Northeast Men's Health, the experts in men's sexual health, northeastmenshealth.com. And it's from a 781 texter who wants to know if you feel like this team right now is talented enough as currently constructed to make a playoff run. Listen, that is my last worry right now. I, I think you know, us here moving forward is, you know, we have no room to look through a telescope. You know, our focus should be at, at, with a microscope and trying to find ways to, to become better day by day and looking forward to the next game and, and, and seeing how we can maximize each day and each opportunity. Uh, but outside looking down, you know, to the playoffs, I don't think none of us want to, you, you know, want to kind of take our energy and our focus to that point. You know, we just want to make sure that we maximize things here, you know, day by day and, and, and see where that gets us. You know, there's a lot of pressure on you. I hope you understand that there's pressure on me too, Cam. I deal, I deal with a lot of pressure <laughs> here. And I just, before you go, I have to ask, was it dinner out or was it dinner in? Next question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Was it was it were the entrees were the entrees vegan or when it comes to Gilmore, did he have like a, a like any kind of protein in the meal? Just uh, give me that before you go. Man, listen, man. I, I, I there's nothing good for me to to answer any of these questions. How about that? And with me knowing that, I know it's it, it just. But, if we can have a conversation off the record, yeah. I will be happy to answer anything. But okay. the fact that it was not the question of the week, I yeah. cannot answer that. I know, but it's good for me. Do you understand? When it comes to me and my show, it's good for me if you answer. I mean, do you not care I about me? Understand. Yeah, but but I can say the same thing. Do you not care about me? <laughs> you know, knowing that I, I don't want you. I don't I don't want to I don't want to be riding in my car headed back to Foxborough and and, and Cam Newton says it was a vegan all meal. And, we won't tell, we won't, were, no, no, we won't tell anybody. I promise you, we won't tell anybody. <laughs>
You <laughs> won't, but you know the millions of people that are listening to this. You know exactly. Yeah. You, you well, do. listen. We're glad. We're glad to have you back. Glad to have you back. Glad to have you back on the show and get get in there and get to work and and uh, and turn things around. You haven't been here that long, but. You know, after a loss, there's there's some who always believe the sky is falling around here. So I'm glad to hear that. I, I, I'm, I'm glad. I do believe that. I do believe that. And, I, and I'll say this. Listen, I think the vibe was a little off. You know, we this this whole interview was a little rusty. You know, so hopefully next week when when I do come back, man, everything else would be smooth sailing, and 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 we'll have a little bit more laughs here moving forward. So right. you know, the sky may be falling for the next couple of days. And and listen, I. I bring my umbrella, my raincoat, and everything else that I need, you know, to 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 get the job done. Mm -hmm. And I know, you know, we will get the job done. And here moving forward, uh, we will have more production here in, in a positive way. Okay. All right, Cam Newton. All right. Thanks, and we'll talk to you next week. All right. Perfect. You guys have a good day. Bye, Cam. Okay. All right, later. All right, there he is.